how's everyone doing? I ain't made a video in a while. This is a 94 S10. It came out with the 4.3 Vortec throttle body injection motors. Been changed out to like a, about an 85, 80s model 4.3 carburetor. They got a, I forget what the intake is, but it's like a NASCAR marine intake. 4.3 that's put on here motor run fine couldn't get the shift you know so if you're gonna do a motor swap for an older 4.3 don't cut no wires like people did on this one don't don't cut no wires but you're gonna have to get a holly carb if you want to do it you're gonna have to get the throttle position sensor kit from holly don't cut your wires like some people did here i just wires some wires in the plug will plug right into the holly uh throttle body or the tps sensor you're gonna need your map sensor hooked up which this one i wired back in soldered it wired that ground wire that goes to your engine coolant sensor which that one is a one wire we need two wires so we just got to get that and another pigtail and then wire it into that that'll work these other three wires are for your evap solenoid right here don't need them just leave your tape these up which is probably what i'm gonna do i'm gonna tape the throttle body fuel injector wires i'm gonna tape them up that way they ain't doing nothing but the problem was the truck wouldn't shift i know the transmission needs let me push this down a little bit transmission needs a throttle position sensor signal the gray one is your five volts the black one's your ground the dark blue one here which looks green because it you know it just is i don't know why but it just looks green but it's dark blue that is your output to the computer this one down here gray wire gray wire is your five volt the green wire I do believe the green wire is your signal from the map sensor and your purple wire is your ground for your map sensor it also goes to the uh transmission but the transmission still went shifting with all that there well it turns out that you need an rpm signal so everybody knows some on some of these you need right here there's a white wire Right down there, I got some stuff rigged up here for testing. White wire right down here that goes to your tack. Hook that up, still wouldn't shift. And then if you look at wiring diagrams, which a lot of people don't, there's actually this plug right here that goes. Let me grab one. I got wiring and everything all over the place here. This is your ignition control module off of your distributor. It's mounted underneath the distributor cap points out the back this is your pickup coil leads this is your wires from the coil to the distributor these is your four pin wire that you see right there if you look on this you got g b r and e i know it's dirty but g b r and e your r wire is your reference wire to the computer to tell it that how many rpms the engine's running this transforms an ac signal to dc signal and puts it in a square wave well the what they got on here the distributor is a flamethrower with the igniter 2 in it so it what i'm guessing which is just me guessing but it works i guess it already puts it into a square wave signal but it sends it over here to the cool to fire the cool so it's already sending out rpm signal so what i did after looking and testing and everything the r on the ignition module ignition control module this r wire or the r right there it'd be one two it's pointing this way it's pointing towards the back of the truck so there's one two three four wires the third wire from this side, or the second wire from this side, whichever one you want to go on, on the plug. As you can see, right back here, I got it in the third wire, which is actually that purple and white striped wire. 
got it running through this wire right here runs up and around i just got it looped like this so it don't you know it runs down in there runs over into here on the negative side of the coil which i just got tapped into this wire because it's hooked up the other side this is running to the tack on the gauges but there ain't no tack here but still i'll be hooked up so i just probed it here probed it down in there taped up so it wouldn't ground out nothing and burn out coal nothing like that so everything's taped up anything metal probed it there truck's out of limp mode it's shifting i got out on the road because it was stuck in second gear got out on the road and i'll show you where it's probed into you see it's probed in third but got out on the road it finally went into first when i put it in drive it was in first gear shift in second back it up put it back in drive it'll go back into first so if you're having a problem and you put a different motor or different intake even just a different intake on the throttle body injection vortex motors if you put a carburetor on there remember you need to have this hooked up to vacuum make sure you got your vacuum wire hooked up over there that goes inside for your heat controls you need to have a holly carb with throttle position sensor kit on it make sure it's hooked up like i said you ain't got to cut no wires it'll plug right directly in don't cut no wires for this map sensor because you need it because it calculates engine load but if you use the flamethrower igniter 2 distributor right back here you got the red cap on it my camera focus flamethrower igniter 2 on the ground wire coming out of the distributor which is here's the ground wire right here coming from the distributor here's the positive with 12 volts going to it hook it to your ground wire to that pin where the purple and purple wire with the white stripe is hook you something onto that wire well you might just want to cut that wire and wire another wire into it but make sure it goes to the ground side of that distributor and hook up your tack just to be on the safe side because it goes in there too but just hook up your white wire for your tack that goes to your cool i'll show you that right too but hook up that and your transmission will shift again let me go find this plug all right so here's your cool we was going to drop another distributor in it if that didn't work and make it work you know because it'll work in that motor too but here's the white wire on your gray plug the white wire is the one that goes to your tack on this side because it comes out of ecm through this plug and it sends a signal for the coil to fire but the coil's got to be grounded through the tack in order for it to fire if you ground that out to ground you'll burn up your coal it's got to be grounded through the tack on even on if you got the regular motor on here and your coal burn up and you check it wire unplug it and you check it wire and it's going straight to ground then you need to change out that wire because that's what happened on this truck with the original motor in it it burnt the coal out and somewhere in the back of the harness back there the wire was rubbed through and going straight to ground so i run another wire over to that white wire and got it running again and then they put this motor in and then well it run but it wouldn't shift because half the computer is dead because what happens if you ain't got an rpm signal to that purple with the white stripe your fuel injectors won't run the transmission is getting power but the computer's not telling it to shift because the only thing the computer knows is that the key's on it don't even know that the motor is even running unless you hook up that that's got to be hooked up for it to even know the motor is even running so it can start shifting so that's just probably just a quick and dirty video all this is getting cleaned up it's just like this like i said just for testing purposes to make sure it shifts but all this is going to be cleaned up you know we got to find a coolant sensor with two plug coolant sensors that's only one prong we got to get two prong put in there and then i can hook up the yellow wire and the black wire right here right here's the yellow wire 
for the coolant sensor and there's the black wire for the coolant sensor which they're on their own little right here they are they're on their own little thing right here sticking out so that's easy to find like i said make sure your map sensor's hooked up throttle position sensor's got to be on and i mean i'm just saying just for this one well probably about any of the two wire distributors hook your black wire to that purple wire with the white stripe right down there let me see if i can get it up close for you is that white stripe right in there on that purple wire the third wire next to that white one make sure you got an rpm signal going to that and then like i said hook up your tack on the safe side hook your tack wire up into right here it's just a white wire you can find it coming out of that black plug which i got the old wiring harness off of mine let's find the white wire here right there is the white wire there's the top of the plug where it plugs in and then right here is that white wire that goes to the tack on the and the dash and everything so if you need a tack if you're hooking up a tack this white wire is your tack signal so yeah so remember if you gotta look at this again flip it around here g b r e you want the rpm signal to go to r basically just think of r being as rpm instead of reference rpm so that's how yeah i know i did an oil change yesterday but and that should have you shifting again you should be back on the road in no time have any comments comment down below but yeah so here in just a little bit i'm probably going to end up doing that and that and then that'll be it so yeah i hope that helps you out if you're doing this or switching your throttle body over to a carburetor and changing out the distributor i mean if you're using the same distributor make sure you have this and a throttle position sensor if you're going to use the same distributor you're going to use the same distributor and cool you should be good just make sure you got the map and the throttle position sensor like i said you ain't got to cut no wires these people cut these off for some weird reason this is the stock plug that was on it and you see how much wire is left on there i mean there's plenty of wire to go from there to there and then this usually it sticks right back in there i mean come on it's simple it's easy to hook up map sensor but yeah if you're gonna do this then this is just a little quick video just to show you how to do it if i had more gas i'd show you it starting and shifting and everything but it's about out of gas because where we've been trial and error on this thing because i can't really find nobody's done a 4.3 on a 94 or 95 basically 94 95 with you know the well the round bodies but any 4.3 throttle body injection here you go this is for you if you're doing putting a carb and not doing a throw Oh yeah, and also if you're going to do carburetor, make sure to get a fuel pressure regulator with a return line. Because if you don't get a return line, you will damage your fuel pump. So make sure you get a fuel regulator. You can just hook up straight to your fuel pump. Leave the stock fuel pump in. Make sure it's got a return line. And you can adjust it to like 6 to 9 pounds, somewhere around there. Should be fine. And then just, you know, run it up to carburetor and then you should be all good and your truck should be running and shifting just just fine and if you need 12 volt source for the key on the old coil wire coming out of the harness right down there this wire right here hook up your which i'm probably going to end up redoing that one so i don't like the way they did it it's too close to everything but your old coil wire, the pink wire on your coil, run your over to your positive side of your coil. And then from the coil, run it over to the distributor. If you're using aftermarket two wire. And then you can use it for your uh, electric choke.
on your carburetor. So, hope that helps out some people. Got any comments? You know, let me know. I'll try to get to them as quick as possible. And yeah, so if you, you know, there's how to hook up a, uh, get the transmission shift in on a 94S10 or Blazer or Sonoma or anything that had a throttle body injection. You switch it over to carburetor or an older motor, whichever one. So any comments, let me know. Y'all have a good day.